Hello there, my friends, and welcome to The Magic of Painting. I'm Rob Boss. It's hard to believe it's only season number 237, episode 17. And I guess it's all your fault, but I have nothing to do but thank you for that. So thank you. This episode is sponsored by Tactical Walls. And so today, we're going to paint a Tactical Walls 1410M. I'm going to run through the colors. And while I do, I'm going to go ahead and mix up the color for the sky we're going to use. We're going to start with a little bit of that Theo Blue and some Titanium White. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's get some Titanium White here on our palette knife. We're going to bring it over here, deposit it down, and grab some Theo Blue. There it is, right there. A little bit of Theo Blue. Just a touch of that Theo Blue in there. Yes, yes. I'm going to be using a one-inch brush to lay our sky before we start our tactical walls, 1410. Crisscross, crisscross, crisscross. Let's load up with a little bit more paint. Oh yeah, crisscross, crisscross. Yes, that's it, there it is. As soon as I have all the blue put down, we're gonna go ahead and put some happy little clouds. You don't wanna miss that. So we're just gonna keep going. Now we just want to throw a few clouds in here. Yeah. And we'll grab a little bit more titanium white and we'll just make little circles. Little circles. That's what we're going to do. Little circles. There we go. Yeah. A little bit more white. Little circles. Little circles. There we go. And you'll see a very simple technique to bring beautiful little clouds. Little circles. Here we go, yeah, look at that. And you can't do too many or too few. You know what, this little cloud needs a friend. We're gonna put a little friend right up here. Here we go, we got a little friend right up here. And there we go, there we go. You know what, I think that's good now. We're gonna go ahead and lay in our Tactical Walls 1410 frame. First we'll grab our Verde Black and bring it down. And we'll bring up our Rojo Black and we'll put a little Rojo Black in there as well. This is where we grab our Blanco Black. That should be enough, yep, looks good. And this is the black, we'll just grab black. Here we go. Oh, so we'll mix these Verde, Rojo, Blanco, and black together. That should, let's get a little bit more black in there. Here we go. We're gonna start with this. Real simple, just real light. Just two hairs in an air, two hairs in an air. There it is, there it is. There you go. There she is. Here we go. We're just going to load up our brush with a little bit more black. There we go. Here we go. It's really starting to look like that Tactical Walls 1410M we're looking for. So let's go ahead and get that brush cleaned out. What do you say? We're going to go ahead and put our 2-inch brush in our odorless mineral spirits. Make sure you get it good and saturated, nice and wet. Here we go. Go ahead. And then we're just going to beat the devil out of it. Here we go. Almost there. Here we go. You just want to beat that thing like you're in the NFL. Now that we've got our sky put in and our Tactical Walls 1410 M-frame, we're ready for mountains. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and mix a little bit of the azimuth yellow for our mountain. Just grab a little bit here, bring it out. There we go. We're going to grab a little bit of grody, grody brown, a little bit of grody brown, just a little bit. There we go. I'm just going to mix those two together. Okay, a little bit. A little bit more of the uh, azimuth yellow. There it is. Okay. You know what we're going to do? Just go ahead and grab, drag. Just pull a little bit off, a little bit like that. You see that little bead there? There it is. There it is on the edge of the knife. And then we're going to put our mountain in. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Shucks. Let's see where we want to put our mountain. We might put a couple mountains in. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Right about there. You know what? This mountain needs a little friend. I think it goes right down through here. He lives right in there. 
I don't know, maybe maybe in your world, maybe you've got two mountains. Maybe we'll grab another mountain. So we do the same thing. We load our knife up, grab it, drag it down, just get a little bit on there. We bring our other mountain over here. And there we go. And you just let it let it just roll off. Let it roll off the knife. There it is. And but you know what? You might want to blend it with a brush. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put our palette knife down. We're gonna grab that same brush. You wanna just get a little bit of spirits on it. We're gonna pull down first, just pull down a little bit. There it is, there, pull down, yeah. Now just blend across, nice and easy. Two hairs in an air, two hairs in an air. There it is, there it is. And that's how we blend our mountains. Now we're ready to throw in a little bit of water. Let's grab a little bit of the titanium white. Let's bring that over here. We'll just throw that right here, there we go. We're gonna grab a little bit of the Theo Blue. Let's grab the Theo Blue. Just a little bit of it. I think this might even need a little bit of turquoise, turquoise. So we're gonna grab a little turquoise, turquoise. Just, just a little, just a little bit. You see that right there? That's all you need. We're just gonna pull it across. We don't, you don't wanna overdo this. You do not wanna overdo the water. We're gonna actually leave it mostly white, really. Mostly white. There it is. As much water as you want in your world. You know what? I think we might even be leading out to a stream. Right there. Right there. We got a little stream lead out. And there you can see. There you can see it. There you can see it. So now we're going to go ahead and put down our one inch brush. It's about that time. You know what time it is? It's time to add happy little trees. Let's see. We'll start with a little bit of the grody brown. Let's grab just a, just a little bit of the grody brown. We'll bring that grody brown over right here. There we go. We'll grab a little bit of the azimuth yellow. There it is. You know what else would be really good right now? Boddington's yellow. Let's grab a little Boddington's yellow. Just a, just a touch. Just a touch. We'll mix those three together first. Okay. There it is. We're going to grab our fan brush. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see. Let's just load it up with paint. Just turn it over. 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 Load it up. Load it up, load it up, load it up, load it up, load it up. There it is. There it is. There it is. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. There it is. I just want to load up with paint. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe in right, right here. And there. We got a happy little tree that lives right there. I'm just getting a little bit more paint. It's real easy. Real easy. Real easy way of making trees. Real easy way. There. There it is. I don't, I don't know. Let's let's just. Maybe he's got. Maybe 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 he's got a friend. Maybe he needs. A, everyone needs a friend. Let's put another little tree in here. Let's. There and there it is. That one lives right there. there. Sometimes you gotta make sound effects. Sometimes you just gotta make the sounds or it won't work. Now we've got our water blade in got some happy little trees. I think we want to go ahead and blend this. I think it would be great. I think we'd just blend this and blend it and blend it and blend it and blend it. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Looks great. But you know what? I think we need a few little twigs. We'll grab the palette knife here and we'll just uh, scratch a few in. We're just going to scratch clear down to the base. Ready? There you go. It may be hard for you to see at home, but we're actually doing quite a bit of progress here, scratching these twigs in. But you know what? Shoot. Let's go crazy. Let's go ahead and put a trunk in. And you're not going to put a trunk in with a palette knife, but I got just the tool for that. It's the, uh, the dart. It's the Doug Marqueta Karambit by Fox Knives, given to me by a good friend, Doug Marqueta. But let's go ahead and put a few big old trunks in here. You see, we've already started, so let's go ahead and... There we go. There's one. There's one. So where does he live? Where does he live? Here. Let's... In my world, there he is. There he is right there. Right, let's put a few more in and... I don't know. One one more big one. Let's see. Let's, we'll start up here and... Just remember that there's... There's no such thing as a mistake in, in our world. We can work with this. 
I think we can work with this just fine. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's a it's an FNP9. It's an FNP9 millimeter. Happy accidents. Let's give him a little friend. Let's see what we got. Let's see. I think there's a little bit more in here. There it is. There it is. It's an FNX 45. Very, very happy accident. In my world, we've got an FNP and an FNX. Maybe you have something different in your world. I don't know. I don't know. Let's get f crazy. I think we can get something even better. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Let's see. Oh, it's a Caltech KSG 12 gauge bullpup shotgun. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's a flipping masterpiece. Oh, well, you know what you got to do when you got a masterpiece on your hands? You got to sign it. And let's go ahead and sign our name. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. After I have myself a quick snack. So just, just, hmm, delicious. Let's see. In my world, there it is. And we call that a finished painting. I'd like to thank you for watching The Magic of Painting with me, your host, Rob Boss. Please check out tacticalwalls.com and see the magic that they have in store for you. Take care and God bless my friend.